Hi everybody. I'm Luca and I'm the co-founder of Reputeca. Reputeca is a portal for Italian artisan. So before talking about Reputeca, I need to tell you like a little story. That story is about Fiorenzo. Some of, know, of you probably already know Fiorenzo. Fiorenzo is a jewelry maker from my region, from Trento. He made this such a like very beautiful necklace uh, and they're medieval style. They're actually like um, this, this, this necklace is a copy of an original necklace founded in, uh, in Trento. But what's the problem of Fiorenzo? Fiorenzo is only making 3,500 euro a month, and that's nothing. Why? Because if you want to buy this product, you have to go come to Trento. There is no way you can buy your product from Milano or anywhere else in, in the world. So his problem is visibility, and that's what we want to solve with Reputeca. If we move from Fiorenzo to all Italy, we can see that Italy, we have 340,000 artistic artisans. If we talk about general artisan, we talk about over a million artisan. Why? It's the backbone of our economy. Only artistic, it's like 78 billion euro. It's like 5% of Italian GDP. It's huge. But what, what's happened with them? Look, only 25% of them has a website. Only 1% total, 1%, nobody, no one. They have an e-commerce. They're not there. They're invisible. And that's the problem we want to solve with Reputeca. So we focus on five different um, sectors. Uh, about artistic in artistic artisanship and it's um, non-precious metals it's gold artistic ceramics and glass and that's our solution it's um, it's reputeca it's a new concept of marketplace we have a suite of different feature uh, to uh, let the artisan use in a very efficient way internet to be online in an efficient way uh, what we do, we do, for example, accounting, payment, we do the logistic, we have an agreement with UPS, but now we have a reputation index. Why we have a reputation index? Because we want to be meritocratic. So if artisan, they want to be online, they want to be on Reputeca, their visibility is connected with their reputation. They don't have to pay for any advertisement in Reputeca. And you can meet the artisan in person. Let's have a look at the website. That's the home page. We are live today. As you can see, you can see some product, the product we sell, and the best artisan on the right shoulder, because that's connected to the reputation index. Then we have the mini side of the artisan. Here, an artisan can talk about himself. He can put a video, he can put his picture, and the reputation also very important. Our business model is hybrid. Again, we are meritocratic, so only if artisan, they sell something on our website, we ask money. So 50% if they sell something. If they don't sell anything, we don't ask money. And then again, a small management fee. An artisan usually is working alone. He's not able, he doesn't have time to work on his profile. So we can do it for him for a small fee. Why us? Because we have a long experience on this field. One of my partners is the Dean of the Faculty of Economy, Trento University, professor in artisan economy. He's an expert. He get me in touch with all uh, artisan association in Italy. And then we are launching today. I'm very happy to tell you this, guys. We are launching, we have over 100 artisans, 15 are the beta tester, and we have over 80, 80 products that you can buy. So think about your Christmas present. What about our finance? Well, in five years, uh, in three years, we're gonna get break even. In five years, we're gonna get 5 million visitors, 60,000 artisans. That's only 5%. We are seeking for excellence. The team, it's a complete team, it's a very young team, but we have a strong advisory board, not only in IT, but as I told you, also in the artisan world. Uh, founding, we're looking for 1 million. Why? Because we need for the first year costs. We need to finish the development of the platform and some business traction. And that's how we divide it. Basically, it's all development and some marketing. And I want to show a little video. That's the video for the launching. Have you ever wondered what it's like to have an Italian handmade product in your own home, but always thought it was not easy to obtain? Do you like handmade Italian products, but the distance doesn't allow you to buy what you truly want and need? Reputeca.com is the website for you. It's an online showcase dedicated to artisans and small Italian companies to display and sell their own products online. We are focused only on unique and high quality products. For the customer, the procedure is very simple. With a single click, you can search what suits you better, and you don't have to worry about anything else. The product will arrive directly to your home. Reputeca handles from orders to product sales, shipping included. Registration is free. Visit our website, www.reputeca.com. 
So thank you very much uh, from me and from Fiorenzo. If I only can say one thing about Reputeca, uh, that's the most important thing for us. It's like, of course, we are a web uh, startup, but we are working with our tradition, with Italian tradition. And that's what, what we love and that's why we do it. Thank you. First of all, uh, congratulations, lots of energy, and even second con congratulations for launching your product today. That's Thank the you. best feeling probably. So I would like to do another set of applause for a company that is actually launching today. We are trying. <laughs> so he here's my question. So you're building a very ambitious marketplace. You're, you're creating a bridge between a fragmented, very, very local supply and a, a, a fragmented, very, very local demand. So Tell us how are you going to start to sign up more of the supply side because without products you cannot go to market. Yeah, that's what we are doing right now. And as I told you during the presentation, uh, one of my partner, uh, he's a professor and he's in touch since he's a, he's a dean of the university and he studied um, agricultural and artisan economy. He's in touch with all artisan association, Confartigianato. So we go through the Confartigianato, we meet the Confartigianato, we ask them, and we already did in Trentino, Belluno, Vicenza, we meet them and we ask them, hey, can you put in touch with your, with your client? And actually for Confartigianato is very interesting because of course they're, it's not client, but they're, uh, what do you say in English? The members. members, sorry, thank you. Their members, they pay for being Confartigianato, so they have to like give them something. And Reputeca is an opportunity, it's free, and they love to like give us like contact with artisans that they wanna try. You know, right now, for us, it's, it's even a, a nice period because, well, it's, they're, they're struggling right now, you know? So they wanna be online, they wanna find a reason to sell, to be visible, and that, that's why it's working well. Ti parlo un secondo anche in italiano perché è un vai po' più complicata la domanda e anche perché mi sembra una platea tutta italiana, quindi ha anche senso secondo me discutere a volte in italiano. Eh, Not really, I would really bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, I invest in a Misobi. Do you know Misobi.com is a marketplace? I heard, yeah. Yeah, it's like Etsy, mm -hmm. okay, but for artisan. And uh, we sold this company this year for 4 million euro to Naspers.com and it's very difficult. I, your pricing is very, very, it's very, very strong because um, artisans don't pay too much money for, for a store. Um, I think that the pricing is a, a lot of high for me, in my opinion, mm -hmm. <laughs> for my experience. And another point is your marketing strategy. Um, I think that your number in your p uh, your presentation is too much high. Five million user uh, in five million user in, in five years is impossible. But that's for the states. That's presentation for the states. So yeah, you know. for the states. Okay, you have a lot of competition in in the world. You have, for example, in France, uh, littlemarkets.com. You have uh, uh, artisanum.com in Spanish. In Spain, you have uh, Etsy. You have a lot of comp competition. So I think it's, um, it's a difficult market. There are a lot of players in this market. So this is the point no, for me. Uh, we know it. Uh, about our pricing, we we decided, we, we took uh, like our decision, it was like, they had to be free because a lot of artisans, they spent a lot of money the previous year for, for be online and they didn't get anything back. So that's why we decided that we wanted to be free. I, we know it's a risk, but that's what we wanted to do because artisans, that's how they wanna. Before launching the website, we studied the market for two years and the artisans are ready to uh, give us a higher uh, commission if they don't pay anything, not even like 50 euro a month to be online. That's why we took this decision. And about our competitors, uh, we know we have competitors, but there is a, light, uh, uh, a big difference between some of them, for example. Some of them are very focused on the hobbyist market, like Etsy. Etsy, uh, it's not really my competitor. It can be my best friend. Because you know, s most of the people that are in Etsy, uh, they're not gonna be in Reputeca. And most of the people that are in Reputeca right now, for example, Fiorenzo, he's a professional and he's not gonna go on Etsy because he doesn't wanna match, you know, peer with, with apples, you know? And they don't wanna be over there. Uh, so that's why, you know, we think we, we are different from, from those competitors. From the other competitors that are working on the, um, on the artisan, we know it's, it's a very crowd market and uh, probably the presentation we heard this morning, it's, the, um, it's very clear because now all the 
real life shops, uh, artisan works, they try to be online to find another way. So that's why it's also like very challenging. Okay. Congratulations for the idea. I think it's very nice and I think uh, uh, this context, this the artisan uh, environment, uh, they are an Italian champion and the best thing you can do is take an Italian champion and internal internalize it. So what I want to uh, ask you is, uh, um, I mean, you, these guys are kind of uh, artists, so you have a lot of uh, complexity, take a web platform, taking a marketplace. Um, have you think about uh, a mentorship to teach uh, uh, the artisan how to deal with the web platform? Uh, or uh, are you going to do everything for them, like take picture, put the product in the marketplace? Uh, uh, have you think about this aspect of your operation? Because you can put a lot of complexity yeah. in your work. So what we are doing right now, it's taking picture for them, make the video, translate them in English. If you check on Reputech and YouTube, you can see video that we made, did for them. In the future, we're thinking we're doing this one for, for a small fee. And that's the idea. But the nice thing about the, uh, working with the artisan is like the, 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 a lot of idea that they gave to me. Like, it's incredible. I went to talk to another, um, it was, at, I think, ceramics or something. The, this girl asked me to put a webcam on, on her laboratory. So everybody could, could see her working. So we can even think about, I don't know, like doing a little like classes or, or whatever, you know? It, it's, they give me a lot of ideas to, to improve my business in the future. But for, for the moment, we wanna be like, even like stick on, on like an, a, a small target to like to grow up. Because, you know, otherwise we're gonna like waste a lot of time to like try to s follow like a lot of different paths. That's the same reason f why I choose only like five sectors and not uh, all the artistic sector we have in Italy. That's over 12, I think. Yeah, yeah my, my question was for now, I think is the right approach. But uh, what are you going to do when you have thousands uh, of them to, to manage or to? Well, that's, we don't know yet, you know, we are thinking about doing, for example, as I told you, like maybe classes where the, you can learn like how an artisan do manually some object, but since it's gonna be like a little far in the future, we have some idea now, but, but we wanna like be, as I told you before, like wanna be st mm, like very strict in our few things. Thank you everybody.